So we were discussing about the probability distribution function, and this is actually the formula, and that will be the right calculation uh, for uh, this problem. So, for sake of probability distribution function, the formula will depend upon the scenario of the event, and since this is the point of experiment, so that's why and this will be the general formula for distribution function that is f of x is equal to n c x divided by number of sample states and here this n will indicate that how many times you have tossed your coins uh, and this x will indicate the random variable and you know these are the values of random variable for uh, this question 0 1 2 and 3 and divided by number of sample space and actually there are the eight number of sample space and the advantage of this distribution function is that we should not need to calculate the probability by using the simple probability concept we will just add the data in this formula and we will get the probability of any desired random variable so just put in the values for this uh, zero random variable okay, here x will be zero so f of zero is equal to and since this is the three point uh, toss experiment so that's why it is written here three and this c and then since x is zero so zero and divided by eight which are the number of sample space you will make this calculation on your scientific calculator and this is actually the combination sign when you will find out that sign and you will make the calculation by putting the values then you will obtain the answer of 1 by 8 and similarly for other cases we will just replace the value of x the remaining data will remain same so next will be f of 1 then it will become 3 c 1 divided by 8 and finally the answer will be 3 by 8 and then f of 2 3c2 divided by 8 and answer will be 3 by 8 and similarly for f of 3 this will be 3c3 divided by 8 and its answer will be 1 by 8 so just look at the answer these answers is same as you have been find out by using the probability distribution so, so this is actually another method for finding the probability of for the random this question has been ended so we will move towards the next problem number five is find the probability distribution of the sum of dots when two fair dice are thrown so for the part a you have to find the probability distribution for the sum of dots when two fair dice are thrown and for part b use the probability distribution to find probabilities of obtaining part one and so actually a uh, part b will be as, uh, associated with the probability distribution and you will compute the probability of obtaining a sum of 8 or 11 and then the sum that is greater than 8 a sum that is greater than 5 but less than or equal to 10 so these parts uh, you will understand why when we will solve uh, these questions so the sample space has uh, for the experiment of throwing two dice contains 36 sample points which are equally likely that each point has probability 1 over 36 so just we will make the set of sample space when two dice are rolled so you people already know that this will be the set of the sample space and there are actually 36 elements in the sample space and the probability for every individual element is 1 by 36 because all the elements are equally likely so because our requirement uh, is about uh, the sum of dots so first of all we will make the random variable for sum of dots let x be the random variable representing the sum of dots which appear on the dice then the values of the random variable are so these will be the values of random variable someone can write these values in the form of set as we have discussed in previous uh, question so random variable is equal to 2, 3, 4 and this will move on 5, 6 and up to 12.
so the probabilities of these values are computed below so then we will compute the probability for these random variables so f of 2 means probability of these two random variables are we can write it as probability of x is equal to 2 just look at the sample space there is only one element one one whose uh, sum of uh, whose sum is x is equal to 2 so that's why probability of this random variable will be 1 over 36 number of favorable events over number of sample space uh, as there is only one point resulting in the sum of this so similarly for finding the ff3 there are actually two elements in the sample space this one two and two one and that that they make the sum of three so that's why the probability will be two by 36 and similarly for f, f of four there are three elements to sum is four so three over 36 and so on similarly by visualizing your previous sample space you will obtain all this uh, answer uh, and you will count uh, the number of favorable events for any particular random variable by yourself and then uh, you will get the result that f of 5 f is equal to 4 over 36 then f of 6 is equal to 5 over 36 and f of 7 is 6 over 36 and so on similarly f of 12 will be equal to 1 over 36 on the basis of uh, uh, this information we can easily make the probability distribution so therefore the result for probability distribution of the random variable x is this x i is indicating as a random variable and this f of x i is indicating the probability distribution so the point is uh, for making the probability distribution uh, you, uh, you people have to use a simple probability concept uh, uh, as you have uh, studied so uh, you will write all the random variables 2 3 4 and up to 12 and similarly the previous uh, calculated probabilities as for two random variable two your probability was 1 by 36 then for 3 it was 2 by 36 and so on so for 2 it is 1 over 36 for 3 it is 2 over 36 and so on so we have just put in all the values <coughs> that have been calculated in the form of probability distribution so uh, here the demand of probability distribution has been ended but uh, if someone wants to find the probability distribution function uh, then because here the scenario has been changed because it is a two dice uh, role random experiment so for this it is interesting to note that this result may also be expressed by the equation as so this formula will be used for two dice rolled random experiment and th this is this will be actually the formula of the distribution function in this case so here f of x is equal to 6 minus 7 minus x mode divided by 36 for x is equal to 2 3 4 and up to 12 uh, so uh, if someone wants to find these values by using the probability distribution function then uh, he uh, then uh, he have to apply this formula just uh, I will show you one calculation so just put the value of 2 in the place of x and then just make the calculation you will uh, obtain the same answer as written, written here by probability distribution so 7 minus 2 is 5 and 6 minus 5 is actually 1 so that's why 1 over 36 and you know the property of mod is that the negative values in mod will become the positive values so uh, you can also verify that all these values can be obtained by this probability distribution function but again it will depend upon the demand of the question but here the demand was about the probability distribution because here it is mentioned the probability if just uh, imagine that here it will be the mentioned as probability distribution function then you people have to find out all these values by using this formula so now we will move towards next part which is part b
using the probability distribution we get the required probability as follows so for part b our demand is to find how these values the sum of 8 or 11 but here we are bound to find them by using the probability distribution so this is actually another technique to compute the probabilities so first part is probability of a sum of 8 or 11 so this r will indicate that uh, the, uh, here the addition law will uh, applied and again all these values are actually a, a or all these events are such that at one condition there uh, can be only one event which can occur so that's why their intersection value will definitely be zero because if the random vari variable 3 is the output then it will be the only uh, single output and it will not coincide mean at a time with any other value so that's why a sum of 8 or 11 just it will be mathematically written as probability of capital X is equal to 8 or capital X is equal to 11 uh, uh, or means addition law so that's why uh, probability of X is equal to 8 plus probability of X is equal to 11 and then we can write it as f of 8 plus f of 11 is it has the same meaning so just put in the values just look at this probability distribution for the random variable 8 the answer of probability is 5 by 4 by 36 so that's why this will be 5 over 36 and plus plus for random variable 11 your answer is 2 over 36 so just add up all these values and you will obtain the answer of 7 over 36 so this is the answer of your first part and similarly the, these all the remaining calculations uh, will be made by using the same concept but, but this condition may differ each time just assume that if it is mentioned here a sum of 3, 3 or 5 then you have to just add up these values corresponding to random variable 3 and random variable 5 so for part 2 a sum that is greater than 8 so mathematically it will be probability of x greater than 8 so greater than 8 means the random variable these are the random variables greater than 8 9 10 11 and 12 so that's why probability of x is equal to 9 and up to 12 we will just uh, add up the probabilities of these values because so we are going to find that a, a sum of 8 can occur so that's why uh, we will just add all the answers of the probability having the values of random variable greater than 8 so um, uh, we can write it as equal to f of 9 plus f of 10 plus f of 11 plus f of 12 just put in all these answers so from 9 it is 4 over 36 and just add up all these plus 3 by 36 plus 2 by 36 plus 1 by 36 and finally your answer will be 10 over 36 so part 3 is sum that is greater than 5 but less than or equal to 10 mathematically it will be written as that probability of capital X is greater than 5 but less than or equal to 10 so we will just look at the distribution uh, from here this value is the gre greater than 5 and this value is actually less than or equal to 10 so just uh, add up all these values so probability of X x is equal to 6 plus x is equal to 7 plus x is equal to 8 plus x is equal to 9 plus x is equal to 10 and just put in the corresponding values of the probabilities so for 6 it is actually 5 by 36 and for 10 it is actually 3 by 36 and so on similarly the in between values uh, you people uh, will see through the probability distribution and just add up the all these values and your answer will, will be 23 over 36 so these conditions will be according to a, any question so in this question the, these were the three conditions but just imagine that this condition will depend upon different scenarios uh, if it were it was written here that 
a probability of some that is greater than 10. So just only these two values 11 and 12 will be written in that part and so on. Uh, so uh, you people have to think about this condition with extreme consciousness and then uh, you have to pick up the required uh, data according to your condition and so and this lecture has been ended here